So I decided to film this. Uh, these are my solder joints that I made from the bajillion of these little tiny wires to bigger wires. And I'm taking that back off because I've been hearing all over the internet that these do not have any type of uh, protection cir circuitry inside other than an overcurrent uh, protection. No balancing between cells and if that's the case I'm going to open at least one cell and find out and if it is I can open all the cells I'm going to solder on my own balance leads so that I can balance these with the IMAX B6. And uh, I'll show you guys once I get one of these cells open. Alright, they're all separate packs again. Check them for any deformities. Still works. All right, I think I'm gonna take this one apart. I'll show you guys what's inside. All right, so I've taken the plastic wrap off, and we have this like a cardboard almost. It's like a really hard cardboard. It seems to be somewhat protecting the battery. And I'm gonna take that off as well. And here's the switch and the light. Alright, so I have this pack a little further apart, so here you can see the three cells. And this is the top with the switch. And I see some circuitry in here on top of each cell, so I am optimistic to say that maybe these are balanced, and I will be testing that as well. So this is inside the infamous 9800 milliamp hour Chinese blue lithium polymer brick. What I can see is the uh, three cells. They have this tiny little board on top. It has some sort of circuitry for overcurrent or something. I don't know. I do not see any way of balance charging them unless these circuits somehow cut the voltage off as you charge. So I'm going to test each individual cell. They should all be approximately 4.2 volts because I have this charged to 4.6 volts, which I will show. Alright, so power is on. Here's the output wires. And you can see I have it slightly overcharged because I've been manually charging them, so I it went slightly over. So this is 12 or 4.2324 volts per cell. Um, and now I'm gonna check individual cells. Alright, this is gonna be really hard to show you, but I'm testing each cell here. <clears throat> the lithium polymer pack. So this is cell number one. I can get a good connection here. So 4.2545 4, volts. That's the first cell. Second cell reads 4.2526 volts. I have discharged this pack about uh, five or six times. 4.2122. So surprisingly, surprisingly, they are very close, uh, very closely balanced. Uh, I'm not sure if there is any type of balanced circuitry in here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's see here. But they seem to be well balanced. Um, so the biggest difference was 0 0.03 uh, of a volt difference. And that's this cell is the lowest, and these two are exactly the same. But I'm pretty sure that. 0 0.03 volt difference does not is not a big deal. So I like these so far. Um, I thought I was gonna have to take them all apart and uh, put balancing leads, but uh, so far they seem to be good. And I drained this to a good 10.6 volts, 10.7 volts. And then charge to what it is right now, about 12.6, 12.7 volts. And I've done this a few times. Uh, 
and it seems to be doing a great job. Um, so, for $29 Canadian, that's about, uh, what, $23 or $24 US, I kind of like these. I don't think you can beat the price, really. Maybe you can, I don't know. But, I like them. I'm going to put that together as best I can and uh, put my pack back together. And now I got my pack back together. Doesn't look quite the same, but here is the blue pack that is now black with the electrical tape and the other blue bricks. They're very cheap. Mine, at least this cell, I don't know what the rest. Um, I'm assuming they're like this. Um, fairly balanced but I mean I will be taking this one apart again after another like 10 or 20 discharges just to check the cells uh, to make sure they're not getting too far out and if this one stays uh, balanced then I believe the rest will too um, but we'll see thanks for watching guys I just wanted to show what uh, I've been doing with these batteries I, like I said, I got uh, six more of these on the way, which I'll be putting all together. I'm still wondering if I should uh, uh, solder some heavier duty wires, but they do have internal circuitry, which trips anyway, so it might not, might be pointless. So, yeah, time to put it back into the ammo box.